patient, but I think Kobe is that type of person who applied all of his basketball training and his tools and dedication to the business world as well. Well, and Christine, I'm interested in your insight as somebody who, who knows Kobe, the man, a little bit. Um, so many of us know Kobe, the basketball player, or... Um, What was he like as a guy? Look, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to have been a personal friend. Right. I'll say that I did a lot of segments of Wednesday's Child with him where you got to see him as a person giving his time to a child. So to me, that speaks volumes that somebody would, you know, be willing to partake in something like that and share just the, the, the power that he has in a child's eyes. Um, his last year of, of his last game, that, that around that time, we did our last Wednesday's Child segment with him, and it was a wonderful chance to yeah. sit down with him as he was exiting the court in his days as a basketball player. Um, I just feel like I, I, I feel I feel devastated because I feel like I don't want to say I've lost a friend, but I, was, I lost a, a career colleague, somebody we emceed the, a homeless event together. We emceed. Um, yeah, I think you we have the business event. I feel like he's somebody I live my career with. Right. You know, and, and I think of, I've often said to me that the three most beloved figures in Southern California, the, the sort of Mount Rushmore of Southern California icons are Vin Scully, Magic Johnson, and Kobe Bryant. Uh, people that, that transcend everything, uh, universally known universally liked um, and have become such extraordinary figures um, in the lives of so many and um, and the fact that Kobe was so strong and young and uh, doing so well in this post basketball career I think is what makes this so shocking you so, know to, to, to literally come out of nowhere and it reminds all of us also about our own um, about the fact that life can be so short now I'm sure your phone's been blowing up. My phone is as well. We want to let people know uh, that in Lamert Park, they're already planning a candlelight vigil tonight uh, in Lamert Park at 5 p.m. So for those of you, our friends, who want to come together and to unite and to be together, um, we want to uh, let you know that there is a vigil tonight. Okay, we have this terrible news that has just come in here to Fox 11. TMZ confirming that one of Kobe Bryant's daughters, Gianna, was on board that helicopter that has crashed. Gianna, known as Gigi, uh, was 13 years old. So we have been hearing about five people on board. We have been told TMZ that Vanessa, his wife, was not on board that helicopter. Uh, but now this news that one of his daughters, Gianna Bryant, was on the helicopter. TMZ that and, and the according heartbreak for, yeah. for Vanessa. Mm. The heartbreak for Vanessa. And and according to TMZ, what they were doing today, they were on that helicopter on their way to the Mamba Academy um, for basketball practice, the Mamba Academy in Thousand Oaks today. So they were heading, we don't know if they took off in Orange County or not at Kobe's home, headed towards there. Um, and then you know, and Liz, uh, we bring back in Liz Habib into our conversation, who's in Miami for Super Bowl coverage. And Liz, um, we just learned that his daughter was among those who died. Talk for a moment. I know you've done some reporting on this about about Kobe's extraordinary love and embrace of the women's basketball game and, and his daughters and, and making them better.
we go on the set? What are, are, it's easier for everybody to work out there if we can. With the girls bringing them to the games. When he brought Gigi, the last time he brought Gigi to a Lakers game, they sat right there, front and center. LeBron ran over, said something to Kobe, said hi to Gigi. Gigi got to meet all the big athletes. She was always right there with him because I think that we all expected Gigi to be one of the next big WNBA stars. We just couldn't see it any other way that the daughter of Kobe Bryant would carry that mantle. We were certain that he may not have had a son, but he had Gigi who could do that. Let me bring Pablo Alcina in because Pablo has been around too and covered Kobe and been around for a lot has gone on in his career as well. Liz, what heart a broken in sure. every which way, Station. especially with what you're saying. Was Gianna in the helicopter also? Has mm -hmm. that been confirmed? Mm -hmm. The last time I interviewed Kobe Bryant, I have to share this story. It was at a WNBA game. I never get starstruck, ever. I meet famous people all the time. And I met Kobe, and I was awestruck. I mean, he has this essence about him. But next to him was his daughter, Gianna. And we were at the WNBA game, and typical Kobe fashion, I asked Gianna, Gianna, who's the best player in the WNBA? Without missing a beat, she goes, I am. And I will be. <laughs> See? She's just like her daughter. Um, just... I am. I mean, I'm beyond sad for Kobe, heartbroken, her daughter there also. We're here in Miami. As soon as we hear the news, elevator's door open, and this guy's saying, did you see that this is, he was in tears, and he wasn't even a Lakers fan. No, it's, this is the type of person Kobe is. It transcends. This is a global superstar with name recognition all over the world who developed a brand that other athletes aspired to get to. That's who Kobe Bryant was, and he reached his brand out. He started, he went, as you know, won an Oscar in the movies. He was doing podcasts for kids. He was working with Wall Street investors. We all expected and he, he talked about it often. In fact, there's a podcast not done too long ago, I think just a couple weeks ago, uh, done with a, a, for, a former teammate of his, um, where he talks about how he was coming out with his, he's going to have a major uh, movie coming out. So Kobe developed himself far beyond basketball, far beyond basketball. Yeah, his Yes. Uh, Liz, can you hear me? Yes, no. yes. Okay, so I, I just want to chat with you because uh, we've talked in the makeup and hair room together about Kobe Bryant and, and Vanessa and what it's like to be a basketball wife. And I know that you were, always went out of your way to, to, to say hello to Vanessa, to, uh, you know, include her in, in the conversation and wherever you were. And I'm just thinking of the heartbreak of a wife to lose her husband, a mother, to lose her child. I, I just can't imagine the pain and suffering and heartbreak for Vanessa right now. And I just wanted you to reflect perhaps if you could for a minute on, on some words of, of thought for Vanessa. You know, Vanessa was really strong to be by Kobe's side through so many things, to be the wife of someone so famous. And Vanessa, in her own right, had gotten such notoriety. But all I can ever really think about with Vanessa is how she was with those kids and how she would bring them to the games and how every game she was just, she had those two so, so perfect. They were always so perfect and so beautiful with their little smiles. And they would talk to me. She was always with them. And maybe she was with someone else and holding their baby. And yeah. Yeah, always outside the locker room. I would make sure I said hi to Vanessa and check in with Vanessa and see how everything was going. Um, you know, she, she, it was the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Foundation together. They did it together and Kobe made sure of that, that they were together. So, and this is her Gigi. This is for many, many years before she had the two younger ones. This was her baby for many, many years. Um, and so I can't. I, I, I know when she posts and when they post how she says it's my heart. And she says that about all of her children. This is my heart. And she puts that picture out of them. I can't imagine losing Kobe, but to lose a daughter like that, how she just wants to hug the other three so closely um, and be next to them. And Christine, I'm sure you saw. I mean, Christine, I remember. I remember with you, you and I were somewhere together and Kobe walked in the room and he just lit up when he saw you and he came oh. over and gave you a big.